Hello all. So a quick video on showing that you can fix a TLC TV with an LED issue. So first of all, do not touch one of these TVs unless you're qualified. Um, this could cause serious injury or death. So this TLC powers down from the right hand side down to the left hand side. Now quite common is the LEDs. So what you want to do is see if there's sound, if there's sound, that's a good thing. Um, and then grab a flashlight, bring it up to the screen, see if you can see a picture to it. If you can see a picture to it, that means it's most likely an LED issue. So one, it could be the, the driver, or it can be located at the back of the TV here, or it could be an actual LED strip at the back of the TV, which you gotta strip apart the whole thing to get down to. So there's a cheap way of doing this. One, you can do it with some nine volt batteries that you just plug a few together and run it down um, the LED strips, it should light up. Now, most of these LED sh LEDs run about three volts to five, uh, four volts. So start with two nine volt batteries, then get down to, to three nine volt batteries and just enough so you can see them light up. If there's anything missing, um, any of the LEDs that are uh, not shining, that means that um, you got a fault there. And what it's doing is why the TV is shutting down is that if you got one of these or two of these lights that are, it come out, it will put high voltage to the rest of the lights and it could cause a domino effect and all these lights will pop out. So the TV shuts down to prevent this from continuing, continuously blowing out all these lights. Now, a better way of testing out these lights before you strip down the whole TV, uh, you can get an LED tester, you link below, um, and you can test these LEDs just from the wiring coming from the back of the TV. And this way you won't actually need to strip down the whole TV to um, test the light. But if you want the El Cheapo way of doing it, you can strip it down if you quite feel quite confident and test the strips out individually like. Generally the TV will start up and go into the main menus, but as soon as when you'd switch it to a TV tuner, this is when the TV will cut out. The tear down of one of these TVs takes about half an hour. The larger it is, the more screws you're gonna come across the more likely you're gonna break the screen. So take your time, ask someone to help you. Now you might wanna film yourself actually disassembling your TV as there's a lot of different size screws, you might wanna put them down in a series, uh, that way you can know where you put them. Worst case scenario, you get them mixed up, you pull them out and redo them. Um, now, taking the TV apart is relatively easy, just take your time, um, you don't need to take any of the backboards off on this particular model, just all the side uh, strippings and then the strips that hold the TV screen in place. Now, pulling the screen out is very important that you don't crack it. If you crack one of these screens, you pretty much destroy the TV in the bin. Now you can pull it out just with your, your hands and best to have someone else do it and just be very gentle with it. Um, most professionals use suction caps in the center of the screen and, and lift it up. With me, I've just done it with the hands. It's an El Cheapo fix and it worked fine for me. but can't state this strong enough, you break this screen, you, your TV is going in the bin. Really try not to flex the screen at all and make sure there's no bow in the middle, make sure that there, it doesn't um, clip up on one side, make sure you pull it up from the ribbon side, that way the ribbons don't get stuck in there and cause any extra tension and just take your time. Put it a nice clean cloth down, uh, lay it on that so that it doesn't scratch and make sure you're working in a dust-free environment. There is a handful of filters here. Um, make sure you don't get them mixed up, put them down in order, or you can do like me and just pick them all up at once. After that, you've got the last screening. 
These are held in with clips. You kind of push them in and pull them to the side, they pop out. After removing the last backing strip, go ahead and test all of your LED strips. Now out of all these LEDs, I have one faulty light which caused the TV to shut down. So I'm going to remove the whole strip and replace it with a new one. Link in the description below. Now you can do it on the cheap and just replace the one LED. I'm not going to worry about it. A strip costs about $30, so I'm not going to muck around and just replace it. Just before you put it all back together again, test every single LED strip again, make sure they're all working. Last thing you wanna do is put it back together and, and you're down an LED. You'd think putting the TV back together in is an easy task, guess again. So once you put all the filters back in and all the clips back on, between the filters and the actual LED TV, what you want to do is be very careful. Uh, there is the actual uh, side pieces that hold in the screen. So if you skip this stage and put the screen directly onto the uh, filters, it could hit on the side brackets and create the screen to crack. So be very careful with this.
So if this video helped you, you can help me. Please like, subscribe my video. Thanks.